I'm rolling whenever, bro. All right, so I got a little inspired today. Um, what did it? What did it? I forget what did it, but I'm shooting a YouTube video. So idea I had uh, was I'm basically gonna compare this back training session and the physique that I have now compared to, I think it was like one of the first few videos I uploaded after my show, like planning to walk you guys through a progression phase and uh, kind of just stop doing that. But we're gonna, we're gonna pick right back up a year later, obviously hitting back and buys. Yeah, man, I'm ready to go. We're at Vasa. We don't come here like a whole lot. I usually go to the gym down the street, but it's, uh, I'm feeling the need to step out a little bit recently. So back day, let's do it. There's no benches, so I guess I'm doing these bitches kneeling. I'm gonna start off with uh, high to low rows. I was walking over there like there was three benches free and shit. There wasn't a single one. They still work like this, but I'd rather have a thing. To a piece of equipment because you're about to grab it, get on it, and then somebody hits you right from the side and they're there right before you. That shit is trash. I seen a bench over there, walking up to it, dude came out of literally nowhere. A while back, I would have had my arm going all the way up here. I'm keeping it in the active range of motion, trying to keep it out of the passive and just like nail my lap the entire movement. One like, really big, really, really major difference that I made in my back training since last year's, since last year's video is I've limited my range of motion a lot. And like on paper that doesn't necessarily sound like it makes sense. Like you would think, hey, limit range of motion, you're not working the muscle uh, as optimally or as fully, but it's, it's crazy the difference that it's made. When I just really isolate my lat in any kind of pulling movement, it's like I'm taking a lot of bicep out of it, a lot of forearm, and keeping that muscle contracting and resisting the weight in the eccentric just for a longer duration of time, opposed to allowing surrounding muscles get overly involved. A while back, I would have had my arm going all the way up here. I'm keeping it in the active range of motion, trying to keep it out of the passive, and just like nail my lat the entire movement. Another thing that stayed exactly the same, these. I can't even, I can't even quantify how much of a difference, how much muscle, how much tissue these have helped me add, bro. Like, very happy I found these. This gym is weird, bro. They have everything in the world except a chest supported T-bar row and a hack squat. So I've been using this as a substitute. They got a regular T-bar, but it's not it's not chest supported. So like the stabilization just is not there to be able to really isolate the targeted muscle. So I chose this. I feel like I can push hard on this, like hard. I feel really good about this movement. So it's kind of been a nice substitution slash bread and butter. Um, I actually like the more I don't even know the name for it, but these move independently. I like when they're locked. And I'm able to just like, hmm. Uh, but shit, I was going somewhere with that. I don't even know. Um, I'm gonna hop into this shit, push really fucking hard. I got me a set of 20. 20.
usually these are supposed to be with the D handles, the really long ones. I can never find them shits here, so I'm just gonna best target my rear dose with this. It's probably gonna look really goofy. It feels good when I do it. I feel a connection, but it probably looks really goofy. We'll see. This is one really dope thing I got from a John Drew YouTube video. I forget what they were talking about, bro. But look, check me out. I wear this bitch religiously everywhere I go because counting my steps is a huge part of my program or my you know weekly protocol just with the energy expenditure and shit. So I can still get my steps in, wear these because when you try to wear these together, it's so uncomfortable. I did it for months, but then I heard him say, hey, you can just wrap that bitch around your shoelace say a whole lot less. So, I'm just, what? No, I'm gonna rap. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Okay. Um, oh, we were just talking about shameless. Everybody, I feel like, everybody I ask, like, I'm, like you, if you see a shameless, they're always like, yeah, bro, I watch that bitch two and three times through. Hold on now, I'm just on the third season now. I'm just on the third season, but it's good. It took me like, Halfway through the first season, towards the end, to really get into it, but but now that I am, it's good. Who's your favorite character so far? Probably, I don't know, but probably Lip or uh, what's the little nigga's name? Carl. Carl. Yeah, bro, he's hard. <laughs> good, bro. Pl good pitch. Yeah, good pitch. Yeah. All right, but I'm gonna get into these rear delt flies. Um, I would I would usually opt with a uh, damn, bro, a reverse fly with the chest support, but we're gonna have to do these today. Another thing I like to do is I won't let the dumbbell come all the way down to the point where my delts relax. I keep tension on that shit throughout the set. And then uh, partials. Partials is a big one. Like, I can't get a full rep. I hit mechanical failure. Cool. I'm about to out 10, 12 partials where I'm still killing that muscle. Maybe just not to the extent or with the range of motion than previously. All right. Last little thing I got is a super set of cable curls and pull-ups wouldn't usually have pull-ups but uh john my coach threw in three sets after every workout because he tells me my back is absolutely atrocious it'd be hurting my feelings sometimes like i ain't gonna cap but i just kind of push through i can't be i can't be sitting around crying but it'd be hurting my feelings um either way i'm gonna jump into them and then yeah i'll give you guys a look at the like a physique update i don't know 10 months in between these i've added a lot of tissue so Bro, Hector just told me my rear delts are getting good, and, uh, and I was like, you would, you would expect most people will be like, thank you, right on, bro. I said, yeah. It's just, but then but I explained, I was like, nah, bro, I ain't even like that. Like, everything I do day in and day out is kind of geared towards building muscle, like, every day. So it's like, it's a problem if they ain't getting bigger. Like, I kind of expect them to, you know? You know, hopefully that makes sense. been I'm probably a smooth 20 pounds heavier than last time I shot this video I remember talking about how we were just going to annihilate attack murder my back over the next few months you know and we've done exactly that so a lot of sizes has been added I would say the biggest thing that's been brought up is my back along with my shoulders but back takes first place so I'll show y'all what it is and so uh, yeah man I'm just I've never, ever, ever been this dialed in and taken so many variables into account. And obviously, um, I've switched coaches. So, you know, there's definitely a different style of doing things. We are, like I just said, taking more variables into account. And it's definitely knowledge that I've been able to transfer over into my own coaching. So, you know, working with the athletes that I do, I would say I learn, I'm learning something probably every other day, sometimes, you know, 
every day that I can directly apply and help improve the training, nutrition, competitive careers, and overall just like, you know, helping people achieve a healthier lifestyle. Like, I'm, I'm actively learning through it. I'm actively gaining knowledge very frequently, and it's just, I've never felt so, it's like encompassed in what I'm doing. Recently I've kind of been dealing with this thing where it's like my my back sessions are so fucking oh man, I don't even know the word. I like just I'll be going at it so hard by the time I get to the end of the training session, I go to pose, like, bro, I literally cannot contract each muscle evenly or anything symmetrical at all. I don't know if that is just because I'm annihilating my shit like that, taxing my shit like that, or if it's like a, you know, just like a red flag that I probably need to get some body work done. I bet it's a little bit of both, but that is definitely something yesterday kind of, I really like just like hit me like head on the importance of this. I need to be using this time in the off season to get a lot of body work done or, you know, body work done that is sufficient to improving the, some, the, the symmetry in my back. Cause it's, it's, it's always been a little bit off. So I feel like that's something I should probably, you know, keep going. Oh um, yeah, man. First little YouTube video in a while. I'm not gonna promise I'll upload again anytime soon. Uh, but yeah, right on for tuning in. Hopefully, code dev, 10% off with Bora. Bora Dead Grips, 10% off code dev. These, I'm like, I, I won't stop saying it. These have changed a lot of shit for me. But uh, yeah, right on for tuning in. I will see y'all whenever I see y'all again.